Date of recording, February 8th, 2017. The words of the kingdom concerning remember, as heard by Tina Martin, as I sat in my back room. These are the words I heard in my hearing. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and again I say hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb of God that was slain. Hallelujah, worthy is the Lamb of God that was slain. For he was slain that you may have forgiveness of sin. And the blood that was shed is for the washing away of your sin. It is the blood of the Lamb and the name of Jesus Christ that is wondrous. Mankind must understand that it was the shedding of the blood that redeemed them. The blood. It was the blood of Jesus Christ who was the ultimate sacrifice. The one that saved mankind and made it possible for them to reign with the Lord Jesus evermore. It was the blood of Jesus. The blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, the blood of Jesus. It was the blood, children. It was the blood. You must understand the sacrifice. You must understand the sacrifice that took place which redeemed you. To be redeemed is to be brought back. The blood of Jesus Christ brought, purchased you back. At any time, the Lord Jesus Christ, being King, always, at any time, could have took things into his own hands, could have caused mankind to be slain, but he was a living sacrifice, you see. To be a sacrifice, is to give oneself up. Hallelujah. It was the blood. It was the blood of Jesus Christ. With every blow to the master's head, every blow to the master's head, blood was shed. With every stripe, that came from the rips dressed with nails, the blood was shed. With every thorn that was placed on his head, the blood was shed. It was the blood of Jesus, children, which redeemed you, and the blood of Jesus Christ was shed in many ways children for your minds are limited you see and you do not know the beauty and magnificence of the shedding of the blood you see when the sacrifice was hung on the cross 
there was a shedding of blood. When he was beaten by men, there was a shedding of blood. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. You say those words in your land. Oh, the blood of Jesus. And you say that it washes you white as snow. Ah, it is the full of soap, you know, which washes you white as snow. The blood is a redeeming sacrifice, you see. The blood of Jesus that was shed for you is the redeeming blood. The words which you read in the letters act as fuller's soap. It washes you as you take it in. As you take in the words from the letters. It begins to cleanse you out. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, you begin to be purged, you see. But it was the blood of Jesus Christ, which was the ultimate price, you see, children. You are not understanding completely the sacrifice the sacrifice that was completed in the footsteps of the Lord Jesus Christ as he walked the land oh the blood of Jesus do you know when mankind placed the nails hallelujah in the hands of the Savior that there was blood shed? Do you understand that? Do you understand that when he nailed, when they nailed him to the cross by his feet, that there was blood shed? Do you understand that? You, children in the land, do not completely understand the sacrifice. Your minds are limited. My name is Judas. My name is Judas, and I am here to educate mankind on the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. You must understand the sacrifice that took place. In the beginning, you see, all things were prepared for the redeeming of mankind, you see. For mankind had fallen away from mankind in all of their wicked, wicked ways. And they began to follow the leading of the fallen angels from ancient times, you see. For when the one was cast down as lightning for rebelling against the Most High God, that there were some who followed him and they all were cast out. Therefore they were cast down to this very land in which you live children. Listen to me for you have no understanding concerning the land in which you live in. You see this world that you live in, it is not new, you see. It was simply cleansed 
of mankind, you see. The purpose of the blood purpose was to purchase and the water cleanses, you see. There was a great flood back in ancient time that cleansed and washed away all of mankind, you see. Except eight, and the world was replenished, you see, by those eight, you see, which were left. For mankind was wicked in all their ways. And God Almighty found no more pleasure in them. For they began to adopt the ways of the fallen angels, you see. And they began to teach them things of the kingdom, you see. For each which were fallen had their gifts and talents. And they began to share their gifts and talents with mankind. But in a very wicked way. And those who were fallen began to mate with the women, you see, that were in the land. Now, this was before the flood, you see. There were giants back then in those days, ancient times. The size of mankind's height thereof is not as it was in ancient time, you see. There were giants then, you see, because of the mating of the fallen angels with the women to whom they found pleasure in and the women began to give birth unto man that was mixed with the fallen angels you see so they began to birth abominable children you see and those children began to mate with the women to where the land was full of abominable seeds and they did sinful acts before the eyes of God Almighty. Children now do not understand the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. It was the blood which washed your sins away and purchased you back. Engrafted in is what you are. Engrafted. Because of the love of Jesus Christ, it is the love of Jesus Christ is the reason that you, mankind, are still here. It is the love of Jesus Christ. The sacrifice of the Lamb is much greater than your minds understand, you see. For though you read the letters and you read how the Lord Jesus Christ was beaten so much that his face was deformed. And if you did not know who he was prior to the beatings, you would not be able to identify him. What man in your land could have taken such a beating? And do you not know that he spoke 
not one word against those men who took it upon themselves to beat him. It was the shedding of the blood. Blood, much blood was shed in that time. Mankind does not understand the cross, the wooden cross. If it were up to mankind, they would have slaughtered, they would have slaughtered the Savior, as man do with animals. It was their desire to slaughter Jesus the Anointed One. Their desire was to go beyond what was told in your letters. That was mankind's desire in those days. For they were greatly offended in the Lord Jesus Christ who is now King they were greatly offended by the words that came from his mouth. For he spoke of his kingdom and letting them know that this land in which he walks is not his kingdom. Mankind was offended by those very words. Can you believe that? That mankind was offended by the truth? So is mankind now. They are offended by the truth. For there will be many that will become offended even by these very words. But I, Judas, was a witness to the birth, life, and death of Jesus the Anointed One. Mankind, you have little understanding concerning the blood that was shed. For mankind in your land even now shed blood but the shedding of the blood is with no effect you see mankind kill one another right now in your land violently and without cost many in your land are caught up and no not which way to go. They are a lost people, though the blood was shed, and the prayers continuously go up into the ears of the Father from the Son, still. Mankind is lost. For they refuse to return. They refuse to get education and to gain understanding and accept wisdom as she speaks into their ears. Mankind are wandering as lost sheep when they do not have to. For the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now King, has done all there is to be done for the redeeming of mankind. The blood, the blood, it was the blood of Jesus Christ. He was a living sacrifice, you know. Not at one time did he ever consider suicide 
for suicide is self-destruction. And one cannot be a living sacrifice and consider suicide. For the act of suicide is self-destruction to kill oneself. And mankind in your land, listeners, are self-destructing all the time. If you knew of the many children which kill themselves for their minds are weak and they struggle in understanding their purpose mainly because the parents are also lost. To be a living sacrifice is to live through Do you understand what I just said to you? To be a living sacrifice is to go through. At no time did the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now King, ever consider the act of suicide. With every blow to his face, where blood was shed, not once did he consider suicide. With every stripe, at the strength of mankind placing lashes on his back, dressed with nails, Do you understand, children, the sacrifice that was made for you? You do not understand the shedding of blood that was done for you, mankind. You are a stiff-necked, rebellious people. And you would rather put away the truth of the sacrifice and believe a lie than to give your lives and return unto the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now King. Your minds are so limited with information, yet you go continuously and gain understanding but concerning what those in your land are continuously getting schooled adding to your education but what are you gaining concerning the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all that he has done for you You all are an ungrateful people. You celebrate foolish things. You are lost. And you would rather lift your hands. You would rather lift your hands and give praise to unholy gods. Things in which you honor and will not give the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now King, glory, continuous glory, praise, continuous praise, you will not. You get lost in the things of the world. You begin to depend on the unclean men and women that walk your land and you lean toward them as mothers and fathers rather than to come to or call on the Lord Jesus Christ who is now King. Why? 
Why would you rather give your life to Satan? He who was cast out of the kingdom for his rebellion. You do not understand the rebellion that he had towards God Almighty. Who would dare to take away the throne of God? Who would dare to do that? It was Satan who did it. It was he who rebelled against the Lord God. For to rebel is to know that which is right and to do wrong. Stubbornness. Stubbornness. And to persuade others in the kingdom. It is all the more easier for him to persuade you, mankind. You would rather hear a lie. Mankind in the land now are desperate for freedom and rights. That is what we here in the kingdom of God observe. About you, mankind. You want freedom and rights. But those things that you receive, they are not freedoms and rights. You judge unrighteously. You are a lost people. And though the blood of Jesus Christ, who is now King, was shed for you, there is no more blood to be shed. There are men in your land that sacrifice women and children always, and they are sacrifices unto Satan, you see, for he desires to be reverent. He desires to be acknowledged as a strong one. But it is all a lie. He is not the strong one. But it is God Almighty who is Almighty. He is the same God of Abraham. He is the same God of Isaac the same God as Jacob strong and mighty strong and mighty is he but mankind would rather hear the words of Satan Satan gave no sacrifice to you he will not sacrifice not one thing for you. Has he promised you life eternally with him? Hmm? Do you understand mankind what awaits you if you continue in your unrighteous ways? Mankind refuse to understand that there is a great pit that awaits them and that very one called Satan mankind where are your minds how can you be so persuaded to live such unrighteous unholy no morals only to die and go into the pit where Satan is. What words is he saying to you that will persuade you not to give your lives over to the Lord Jesus Christ who is now King? Why haven't you considered who loves you and who has not 
done what to redeem you? Do you not see that Satan is moving out of spite and anger? He hates mankind. He hates you. Do you even understand that? That it is his desire and will to kill you, yet you continue to receive from him. Satanic gifts and ways to and abilities he gives to you. Why would you want to sacrifice your own family unto him to receive powers? Powers is what you are looking for. You want powers. You want to be acknowledged. Why? What has he done for you? I do not understand. As I look upon you on the remnant that remains in the land, you have much to stand through. For Satan is after the minds of mankind, and you must stand your ground and not become frustrated in the waiting upon the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now King. Great is the Lord Jesus Christ, and greatly to be praised. And it was the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ that redeemed you. Understand, the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ. It was the ultimate sacrifice and price. He did not self-destruct. Do you see how he lived through it all just for you? Why do you not see that he lived for you? There was at any time he could have called for one legion. One legion of angels to destroy all of man. But he lived. He lived. He lived, he lived through every lash, every lash he lived through. Do you understand how many lashes he took for you? And the blood that was shed for you. The Lord Jesus Christ who is now king had nothing to gain but you he wanted you and all he asked is that you want him back want him back oh the lashes the crown of thorns do you even understand what he went through? He did not stop. He went through. He went through for you. At any time, he could have said, no more. No more. I will not go another step. No more, no more. He did not have to bear the pain of the crown. 
he did not have to bear the piercing in his side. Do you even understand? He did not have to. What it is for a man to take the end of an arrow and pierce you in your side? Do you know what kind of wicked man it takes to take a spear and to put in your side? Deep within to where the blood gushes out? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the size of the nails that were in his feet? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know the weight of the wooden cross that was put on his back? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know he did not have to do that? Yet he did. For you, mankind, for your children and your children's children. How can you put that away? How can you say you do not remember? For mankind in your land always remember the dead. We see this. They continuously go to the graveyards and dress the spots where the bodies were led. Even when they die in your streets, you dress the spot, always remembering the dead. Why would you not remember Jesus Christ, who is now King? He received that you may be healed. How many lashes? Do you know how many lashes? Do you understand the beatings? Do you understand the beatings that the Lord Jesus Christ received? who is now king. What else would you have the Lord Jesus Christ, who is now king, what else would you have him to do? Mankind, mankind, you must turn from your wicked ways while time is yet standing in its place. Remember the blood. Remember the blood of Jesus. Remember the blood. Remember the blood. Remember the blood. Remember the blood of Jesus. Remember, remember the blood. Remember the blood. Don't put it, it away. Don't put it away. Don't act like it did not happen. Remember the blood. Remember the blood. Remember the blood. For it was all done just for you.